All right, uh, today we're going to start the beginning. We're not going to actually graph today. We're going to prepare for graphing. All the stuff we've been working on, studying polynomials, factoring, synthetic division, all that's going to come together now uh, to graph these polynomial functions. You can already see we have, now we're, now we're writing it as f of x equals, and now we have these you know, fifth powers. We're going to have some fourth powers, third powers, seventh powers, whatever and we will be graphing but today we're just it's just uh, just deciding some real basic ideas about these functions so I made six problems pretty much just like the homework ones you're gonna see and they are all sitting here right here okay this is like a sample of the homework I changed them up a little bit but it's gonna look just like the homework problems and uh, we'll look at each one, we'll focus on the directions of the problem, make sure we answer all the questions they're asking, and I think you're going to find this one to be an extra simple lesson. It's just an introduction to where we're headed. Okay, so let's, uh, let's start by, you can see, if you look at the big picture here, you can see that all of them are just functions of polynomials, different powers, different signs, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the directions, we want to start with that. The directions are going to be Decide if the graph is even or odd degree. Well, that's going to be extra easy. Okay, that's the first thing I'm looking right here, the directions. Okay, state the maximum number of zeros that it has. That's also super easy. And sketch what the ends of the graph look like. So that's why you know, we're kind of getting towards a graph, but we're not really having to graph yet. So those are the, those are the things we're going to do. Even or odd maximum number of zeros, quick sketch of the end behavior or the ends of the graph. All right, so let's look at number one and we'll go through it. Here we go. All right, number one. First thing, is it even or odd? Okay, well, we've already talked about this. The degree is the highest power of the function. So this is a fifth power and it's a fifth, the degree is five and that's odd so you know as far as putting an answer down we should probably just be it says the side of the graph is even or odd so I mean it's odd we should probably put odd and maybe we could even put you know degree 5 just to be overly clear what's going on there then it says state the maximum number of zeros state the maximum number of zeros well, all that means is, and we, we've been talking about this quite a bit too, the number of zeros is equal to the degree of the function. So it's odd, the degree is 5, so it will have a maximum of 5 zeros. Let's look at it again. State the maximum number of zeros it's five. It actually does have five zeros, period. Okay, They might be the same, they might be imaginary, but mathematically it will have five zeros. Now whether it's going to cross the graph five times, that, that depends on whether they're imaginary or whatever. All right, and the last thing, sketch what the ends of the graph look like. That's going to be our new thing. I don't think we've talked about that at all. So sketch what the ends of the graph will look like. So this is really the main part of today's lesson. When, when a function, when a polynomial has an odd power, that's why they wanted you to, to answer odd or even, when it's odd, then it's either going to do this. It's either going to start down and end up. So something like, you know, like this. It's either going to start, you know, I might do some other stuff in between there, whatever. But it's going to either start down, end up, or it's going to start up do some stuff, whatever, and then end down. That's the only thing that can happen when your degree is odd. It's going to be opposite. One way, or however it starts, if it starts like the graph's coming in like this, it does some stuff, it's going to end going up instead. Or if it started up, it's going to do whatever it does and end down. Okay. Normal for odds, uh, we'll, we'll talk about what normal means, is to start down and end up okay and normal means that 
there's no negative in the front of this problem. So whatever the leading coefficient is decides what's going on. So when, the, when this is odd, when this is odd, and there's a positive in the front, then this is the answer to that situation. The end behaviors, or what does the ends of the graph look like? It's going to look like that. Here's a little trick for you, though. We already know f of x equals x cubed. We know that the basic function for that is this. Hopefully you remember that. And that'll help you just as just to remember all the time. I mean, this is odd, right? This is an odd function. And it has a positive number in the front, a 1. And we know it starts down and ends up. So any other odd function with a positive in the front is also going to start down and end up. Letting you just kind of absorb that for a second. We're going to do another one right now. Here we go. Oops, that was no good. All right, so let's look over here. I just drew a random line there. Uh, let's look at the next one. All right, so same thing. We have an odd power, and it's going to have it has a leading coefficient now that's negative. So let's go through and answer all the things. Is it even or odd? It's odd, okay? Because its degree, its highest power is an odd number. Uh, state the maximum number of zeros, three. That always matches whatever the highest power is. In this case, three, so it has three zeros, okay? And then finally, we're sketching the end behaviors of the graph. So remember, with odds, just like the last one, it's either gonna be down, up, or up, down. And when there's a negative, then it's the opposite of what you'd think. So it's going to be like this. It says sketch, so we don't really need to say anything. We just need to draw something like that. I'm going to even remind you again. Remember, this is x cubed. And so the opposite of that, a negative x cubed, would do something like this. Okay? And that means it would go start up and end down. So there's all the stuff we need for that one. Let's do it again. Here's another one. It's another odd one. Got an even one coming up. See, number four is going to be even. But we got another odd one here. Actually, this is a lot like number one. So, once again, is it odd or even? It's odd. Easiest question you've been asked all year. Um, the maximum number of zeros is five because that's the degree of the polynomial. And the end behavior is going to be up and then down. Remember, if it's odd, then it's either down, up, or up, down. When it's got a negative in the front, it's up, then down. And I'll even remind you again, what, what this means is this graph, even though I don't really know exactly what it looks like yet, we're going to work on that in, you know, later, in the next few days, I do know that it's going to start up somehow, it might, you know, it could do something like this, whatever it's going to do. But I know at some point it's going to have to end the other way. It's going to end down. If it starts up, it ends down. And that's exactly what happens when you have an odd degree negative leading coefficient. Again, let's do it again. This one's going to be a little different. So this time, obviously, it is even, not odd, because the highest power is a 4. It can have a maximum of four zeros, because that's the degree. And I don't know, maybe you already figured this out on your own. Let's think, you can think about it for a second. But what we have here is an even. This is our first one, first example that had an even degree. The highest power of this function is even. With even functions, it's either going to do this. It's either going to be up, up or it'll be down, down. It's one or the other. And when the normal one, when it's a positive leading number in front of the highest power there, the leading coefficient, if this was positive, it would be this one. But since this is negative, it'll be this one. And if you have trouble ever remembering that, think of your most basic even function, y equals x squared 
We all know that that is a parabola that looks like this. Up, up. Okay, and if that was a negative in the front, then the parabola would go upside down, and it would be down, down. Well, that's basically what's going on with this thing right here. It's even, and it's negative, so the answer is down, down. So there's our whole problem right there. Let's see here, next one. It's all the same, it's just gonna, I'm just repeating it a little bit. In fact, this one is a parabola. This one has a highest power that is a two, so it's even. So let's answer all the questions. It's uh, an even function, and the degree is two, so it has a maximum of two zeros, and it goes up, up. Why does it go up, up? Because it's even, or you know, you wrote even, we wrote even right here, it's even and the leading number is positive. If this number is positive, the number that's connected to the highest powered term, then it's up, up. Even positive equals up, up. One more. Back to a third power. So it's odd. And maximum number of zeros is three and we're back to an odd situation so it's either going to be down it's either going to be uh, let's write it down up or it's going to start up and go down and this one it's going to be this and if you don't remember you can look back at some of the other odd ones and you will remind you why but uh, basically it's just because this is odd and this is positive that's your standard odd situation. It's going to start up, do some stuff. You know, it's a third power. It's probably going to do something like this. That's it. Uh, like I said, this lesson has a big, the word intro in it, so it's not very difficult. In fact, there's a lot of review after the basic homework problems you're going to work on. There'll be some review problems. So as far as any new stuff, that's it. Okay, but be ready for more because it's coming. But uh, today is just to get you started. Good luck, work hard, be nice, see you soon.